Morning M0 MSN, Mike's the name. Okay, so today we are going to build a, a roly coil with a bit of a difference. Um, this one is going to fit over the DX Commander and uh, allow us, hopefully, to use the other elements as well. Um, this is the Beastie. Uh, the video following will show you how to build it. Um, the idea is very, very simple. Um, you literally just feed the uh, DX Commander um, drive plate at the bottom and fit the uh, 40 meter element to the top and uh, that will turn it into an 80. Now I do realize that not everyone out there has a DX Commander um, so I've also made a non-DX Commander version which is a standalone uh, as long as you've got a 10 meter um, fiberglass pole uh, we can uh, put one of these on. It has a SO239 uh, at the bottom and uh, a position for a counterpoise. Uh, and then obviously you attach a 9 meter 68 centimeter uh, element to the top, um, up a 10 meter pole, for instance, uh, attach this at the bottom, and you've got a standalone um, 80 meter uh, vertical. So that's the idea there. Okay, um, so I'll run, if I can, uh, the two builds simultaneously, picture in picture, if you like. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Oh, oh yes, I, f I forgot to mention. Um, the, the pipe is three inch diameter. Um, a good friend of mine, uh, Brian, uh, BZU, uh, has a lathe and has cut this pipe of a thread uh, five millimeter spacing for me. Now, obviously not everyone's gonna have a friend that's got a lathe. Um, and so again, the alternative version is to glue and wrap again with five millimeter spacing. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> I had a delivery today. Just one or two bolts. M6, and some M6 nuts. Ah, okie dokie. Let's see what we can make from them. Oh, and also some, uh, where does that go? Some wire from Brocop. I shall uh, put a link in the uh, description. This is 1.8 millimeter copper enamel coated, which we use to uh, to make our coil, our base loading coil today. So that's what the job is today: make a base loading coil so that we can put 80 meters on our 40 meter element. Sharp, sharp bit that one.
one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to have to cut the top of the coil off, the top of the former off here. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to work on the nut and bolt that comes out of it. So, okay, it's time to cut. It's definitely hot. Yeah, how's it? Scooby-Doo, got all the bits. <clears throat> to the driven plate. Forgot to turn the camera on. Well, I thought it was switched on, but obviously it wasn't during the uh, the last few moments of this. So I've made this coil 33 turns long on a three inch former. Um, every 10 turns is 7.3 micro Henry's, and I've put on a DX Commander base. Uh, it's a single coil. I'll put a 9.65 meter and uh, element on it for uh, for a 40 meter quarter wave, and then hopefully the coil will um, give it the uh, the right um, um, inductance to turn it into a base load for uh, 80 meters. Okay, we'll try it. That is exactly a quarter wave for 40, 68, so that's 9 metres, 68 centimetres, which is exactly a quarter wave. So after many hours of not filming bits and pieces that was going on, which is a bit uh, remiss of me, to be honest with you, we have a working, you can see how many taps I made on this experimental coil. At the moment, it's shorted out to use, uh, it has a straight 40 uh, metre antenna. Um, you basically just short out the coil completely uh, to where it's driven. Take that off, stick it on the tapping point here, and it is now resonant on 80 meter band. Um, you can see how many times I've uh, 
how many attempts I've had to get this perfect. Um, but now that I know where the point is and uh, exactly how many turns, I shall rebuild this now um, using the correct number of turns. Um, and uh, we'll get that working. And then the, the beauty is, of course, that you can put um, this particular thing onto, um, onto the DX Commander's plate and run more than one radial because this doesn't go to earth or to ground, it's purely a, a loading coil. Um, so that's how we're going to get round not being able to run more than one um, band. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll put it, give it a test and let you know what it's like. Uh, this is the uh, the coil, the base loaded coil I've made. Um, it's not perfectly tuned, but uh, um, if we you see, it's, it's around 1.5. Um, which is an acceptable um, amount, and it goes down to uh, 3640. Okay, this is the final version. I haven't even counted how many turns that is. <laughs> I should really, shouldn't I? Okay, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and three quarters. So nearly twenty-five turns. And let's uh, let's test it. November Angus Mike Zero. November. Is that correct? Roger. It's Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November. Good evening, William. Um, Mike here in uh, the town of Gloucester. Now, I'm, I'm uh, operating a, uh, a Kenwood TS-890 uh, with an experimental antennae. Uh, the aerial at the moment is a, um, a vertical 80-metre um, aerial uh, using a, a base coil uh, with a 40-metre element. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm I'm testing it and I'm hoping that you can give me a good report back to you. Yep, okay, that uh, indeed there, Mike. I give you a five nine plus uh, ten. Very very strong here, indeed. To my location, and it's a DX longer. Um, very very good antenna, and uh, indeed. Uh, I know that guy, well, I know him uh, on radio personally. He's coming in there uh, to the Antrim Humbridge Radio Club there uh, a, a couple of months ago. So um, I have to say, oh, I'm just uh, actually going down uh, to your QRZ page at the minute here. And uh, absolutely fantastic. So